third adventure of Batman Begins, Detective Comics, number 29, with the cover date of July 1939. We are introduced to Carl Helpern, a.k.a. Dr. Death, and his helper Jabba. He tells Jabba about his plan for the rich of the world to pay tribute or die, but also realizes his plan will attract the attention of the one they call the Batman, so they set a trap using the personal ads in the newspaper. Enter our hero reading the paper as he comes across the nefarious message to the Batman. It instructs him to pick up a letter for John Jones from the post office. He reads it and is taunted by murder. Murder most foul. At a very specific time and place, the Batman gets ready for the inevitable showdown and hops into the almost mobile. Batman gets to the destination, and the only way to get in unseen is by scaling and suction cupping the tower to the penthouse above. He leaves a rope for a quick getaway and peers into the balcony door. Unaware that newest gloves and newest Ricky are armed and waiting, they hit the lights and the trap is sprung. Batman dodges the gunfire, tackling a statue, taking down newest gloves and Ricky. Disarming them quickly, the Batman turns the gun on them, asking who sent them. Fearing for their lives if they told, the Batman assures them he would do the same if they didn't. Just then, Jabba enters the room and fires his gun. The Batman is hit and takes a pellet of deadly gas from his utility belt, throwing it at Jabba. Making his getaway, jumping out of a window to the balcony as newest gloves and Ricky give chase, he leaps off the roof to his amazingly placed rope. Still bleeding and in need of a doctor, he changes and uses the phone the right way this time and responds to the challenge in the newspaper to let his enemies know he's not so easy to kill. Bruce sees the doctor and lies through his teeth about how he got shot. After reading the next day's paper, Dr. Death yells at the two idiots for not finishing the bat and tells Jabba of their first victim who won't pay tribute. Now they must die. Jabba's on his way to commit the murder. Conveniently, Bruce Wayne passes the killer genie and follows. Jabba blows the death powder at the victim and books it. Bruce saves the man, but can't stop to ask her question as he tails Jabba to Dr. Death's mansion and waits for the right time to strike. Batman sneaks into the house and finds the doctor and Jabba and makes his move, lassoing the hut around the neck, taking him out as the doctor makes a getaway through a trap door that the Batman fearlessly dives into. A chase ensues and they end up right where they started. The doctor has the bat right where he wants him, holding a vial of fiery death. In a split second, the tables are turned as the Batman whips a fire extinguisher at the Doctor, who drops the vial, setting the whole lab ablaze, declaring death to Dr. Death, which brings the Bat kill count up to three.